एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दैट इज बेसिकली हाउ टू ड्रा वन डायग्राम एंड हाउ टू राइट डाउन द यूनियन ऑफ टू सेट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस वन इन दिस वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज दैट इज गिवन दैट ई इज अ सेट दैट हैज द एलिमेंट्स अलेवन थर्टीन फिफ्टीन सेवनटीन एंड देन वी हैव गॉट अ सेट एफ हैविंग एलिमेंट्स ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन ट्वेंटी so part one is draw venn diagram to represent the sets e and f so you just need to draw two circles one circle will represent e the other circle will represent f and this is the overlapping part where you are going to write those elements uh, which are part of set e as well as of f so 15 and 17 these two elements 15 and 17 they are part of both the sets so they are written in the overlapping part so 15 and 17 will be written here the rest of the elements of e that is 11 and 13 they will be written in this part which is only part of e while this one belongs to e as well as to f now after writing 15 and 17 over here what about the rest of the elements of f 12 14 16 18 20 they will be written over here the next part is from the venn diagram list all the elements in e union f in set notation so e union f mean you have to write down all the elements of e and f in a single set so 11 12 13 14 15 16 18 20 21 22 23 So, uh, combining all the elements of E and F will give you uh, the set for E union F. Question number six: It is given that we have got a set G that has uh, these fruits: apple, orange, banana, grape, durian, and uh, pear. While a set H has got uh, the fruits: apple, banana, grape, and strawberry. Right. So, how to draw? a venn diagram to represent the sets g and h you simply need to draw two circles and this part as you know this is an overlapping section and this part includes those elements which are part of both the sets g and h so you can see which fruits are present in both the sets apple then we have got uh, banana and uh, grape these fruits are part of both the sets so these they will be written in this overlapping section the rest of the fruits after writing them over here the rest like orange pear and durian they will be written in this section of g because this is only this section only belongs to g while this one belongs to g as well as to h and the fruits which are other than these three in h will be written over here that is h has apple banana grape well that goes to overlapping section strawberry will be written over here what about the set g union h that is the set that contain all the fruits from the set g and h so just write down all the fruits of g and h in a single set apple banana grape first of all writing the overlapping one then orange durian pear and then strawberry So this is the answer for question number five and six. So question number seven is if A is a set that contains uh, the fruits durian, mango, pineapple, and B is durian, brambleton, mango, and sour soup, find A union B, part one. So A union B mean you are going to write all the elements of A and B in a single set. so all the elements of a and b they are part of a union b and you are not going to repeat uh, up fruit twice you just need to write all of them only once but it must contain all the elements of a or b so this is answer for you what about a intersection b well a intersection b contains those fruits which are present both in a and in b like mango present in a and in b and we have got uh, durian present in a and b so this is the answer for part number 2 question number 8 is as you can see 
find the union and intersection of each of the following pair of sets so for part a we have got a set a that is 3 6 9 and 12 and for part b sorry set b we have got 6 8 9 and we need to find number 1 a union b well you know in a union b you are going to write all the elements of a and b so 3 from a 6 from a as well as in b so you are going to write it only once you don't need to write it twice then 8 from b 9 it is present both in a and b so we are going to write it only once and then we have got 12 so this is answer for a union b for this part what about a intersection b no, a intersection b includes only those elements which are part of both a and b like 9 and 6 6 is present in a 6 is present in b 9 is present in a 9 is present in b so this will be the answer for this part the next one is part number b and we have got a set c as you can see and in set c we have got elements a b x y okay a b x y and uh, in set d we have got the elements m n o p okay so first of all you need to find c union d so you need to write all the elements of c and d in a single set so a from c then b from c set c then m i am writing them in order then n then o then p then x and then y you are not going to miss any element from a or from b so this is the answer for union what about intersection c intersection d now look for the elements which are present in both the sets mean it should be present in a in sorry c as well as in d so there is no element which is present both in c and d so answer will be empty set or five the next one is that is uh, part number c where we have got a set e that has the animals monkey okay then we have goat right then lion okay and then a set f that has tiger and the other one is goat as you can see from the question now first of all if you are going to write the union of e and f in set notation that contains a set which has all the animals from e and all the animals from f it should be f right okay so write down all these animals in a single set monkey then you are going to write goat then lion then tiger and you are not going to write goat again because i have written it over here so don't need to write twice this is union while intersection of e and f will be the animal which is part of both the sets which is part of both the sets goat is a part an element of e and goat is an element of f so goat is the answer for the intersection and then in part d in part number e let me erase question number eight part number d okay so part number d says we have a set G having elements A, M, K, Y and a set H that is equal to 5. Now 5 mean we have got an empty set. Okay. Now for union of G union H you are going to write all the elements in G and uh, in H. So A, M, K, Y. Okay. A, M, K, Y uh, from set g while from set h we don't have any element so the answer for union is this one what is the answer for intersection of g and h 
Intersection means those elements which are common. Common to both G and H. We don't have got any. So that will be an empty set and you may write it as 5. So this is the answer for question number 8. Then in question number 9 from exercise 14 C, we have got some interesting question over here. We have got a universal set and as you can see it is a set uh, where we have positive integers less than 16. So positive integer less than 16 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Less than 16 mean up till 15. Okay. Now, write down the elements for set I and it is a multiple of 4. So, from your universal set, pick out multiples of 4 that is 4, 8, 12. And then write down the set J uh, and it is a set that is a factor of 8. Okay. So, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 8. They are factors of 8. Okay. What is required? In part A, they have asked you to list all the elements in E, in I and in J in set notation. All the elements of set uh, universal set of set I and J in set notation. Well, I have done that. This one is answer for part number B. Draw a Venn diagram to represent the sets, the universal set I and J. So, just draw a rectangle over here. Then draw two circles. Each circle represents a subset. This represents subset I. This represents subset J. Now this, this, is, this, is, this rectangle represents universal set. Now, this overlapping part represents those elements of I and J which are present in both I and J. So, look out for the elements which are present in both I and j so 4 and 8 4 and 8 they are present in both of them so they should be written over here in the overlapping part so we have left an element in i that is 12 after 4 and 8 we have got 12 so 12 will be written over here while in j we have left these two elements 1 and 2 after uh, filling this overlapping part so they will be written over here now after filling the circles the elements which are still part of universal set but not part of the circles mean other than these elements other than these elements which are in the circles which element are present in universal 1 2 3 3 is absent so 3 is present over here so write it over here then 4 5 5 is not present over here so write down 5 over here because this is part of universal set so, whatever is in universal set, it should be inside the rectangle. Whatever is in universal set, it should be inside the rectangle. So, I am just filling the rest of the one. 6 is not in the circle, 6 is over here, right on here. 7 is not inside the circle, while 7 is part of universal. 8 is in the circle, 9 is not inside the circle, it is part of universal set over here, as you can see. 9 and then 10, then 11, 12 is over here, then 13. 14, 15, 16. No, 16 is not because we have to restrict ourselves up till 15. So, this is how you are going to represent it in Venn diagram. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 8, 12. 3, 5, 6 mean other than these, you are going to write down the rest over here. So, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Now, the part C is. From the Venn diagram, find number 1, I union J, whole complement. No, well, well, that is a set of elements that are, <laughs> that are other than I union J. No, I union J, I union J, first of all, look for I union J. I union J mean I and J, the elements which are part of I and which are part of J. The elements which are part of these two circles will be I union J, while I union J complement mean all the elements other than I and J, mean all the elements other than these two circles, other than these two circles. For complement of I union J, you are not going to consider I union J. So, all the elements which are outside are part of this set 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 
टेन अलेवन थर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज दिस विल बी द आंसर फॉर आई यू नी थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाइन थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाइन ये टेन अलेवन थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन टेन अलेवन थर्टीन फोर्टीन ओके द पार्ट टू इज फ्रॉम पार्ट नंबर सी इज आई इंटरसेक्शन जे कम्प्लीमेंट आई इंटरसेक्शन जे कम्प्लीमेंट ओके लेट मी ड्रॉ इट ओवर हेयर I need to shade. I need to shade it. This is I. This is J. This is universal set. First of all, first of all, you need to highlight J complement. Now J complement uh, will be shaded with vertical lines. So J complement mean other than J. Other than J, shade everything. J complement mean you are not going to shade J. I am not shading J. you can see i am not i have to shade this one i need not to shade j okay this is j complement as you can observe j is not shaded j is not shaded and you have okay this is j complement this shaded part is j complement other than j and you have to find the answer for i intersection j mean the part which is common to i and j complement so this is i so this part this part this part is part of i yes and it is part of j complement as well so the the elements in this part mean in i and in j complement it will be the answer that is 12 so the answer for this one will be 12 for this uh, part so this is the so solution for question number 9 So in the next lesson I will upload the solution for question number 10 and onwards thank you so much